Hi, you guys. I'm sitting at my table over here, and I've got the floozy sweater all laid out, and I am putting it together right now. And I wanted to um, show you guys how I do this. Now, if you're not sure what I mean by the floozy sweater, this is a sweater that we were making on Friday night on the Stitch and Crime, and the hashtag for this is flus hashtag floozy sweater mal. We made the pockets, we made the sleeves, then we made all the panels, and I've been showing everyone how to make the sweater during the live on Friday night. I will leave a link to the playlist where you can look at the bottom underneath all of the descriptions of those videos and see the instructions on how to make the sweater. And then I show you during the video. So I'm going to put this video out and I'm going to tell you that I'm going to give you about, I say to the end of February, and then we're going to end the, the floozy sweater bow. So if you are making one of these sweaters and you want to make an entry, then I need you to send me an email with a picture of your, of your sweater. Okay. All right. Now let me show you how I'm putting it together. Okay, everybody. So here is what the sweater is looking like at this point. I'm just trying to show everyone what it's hard to show on my Friday night lives. I do have a playlist for this sweater and I will leave all the information down below. I have a cough drop in because I'm feeling a little under the weather today. This is what it looks like. Here is your armholes. This other armhole here. There is no buttons or anything. This part of the sweater is knit onto the front panel. So we had two front panels and we had a back panel. This size is the next to biggest. Let me get a tape measure. Okay, this is gonna come out to be 32 across. But it's an oversized baggy pull around wrap up in almost like a blanket. Okay. So that is the size. That re it looks. It's difficult to get a true look at what something looks like on someone. I will try to do that for you when I get it finished and put together. because at these angles, it just looks a little bit different, okay? There is the bottom for you. There's no actual ribbing on this part because it is, it's all just built in on this sweater. Now, what I really wanted to show you this is what I was working on this last Friday. And that is this collar part right here. So what I did Friday night is I, I knit these two sections on where we had these on stitch holders. Can you see that okay? Let me adjust the camera just a little bit. So I knit these 22 rows on each of these panels and then we st I stitched them together. And now I need to put all these ends in. You see that? I stitched it together there. Then now what we're going to do, the next part, 
is to stitch this edge to this edge here. That's the next part that we're going to do. And, it, and any time that you stitch it together, you need to turn it wrong side out. We're going to turn it wrong side out so that the right sides are together and then we're going to stitch that edge right there. So now I took some time to put to um, sew in all the little ends that I had here. I got my little set of nippers. I'm going to bring you in a little bit closer and I'll show you what I'm doing. But before we start, I want you to know, here is the center where I sewed these two pieces together. And here is where I marked the center of the back. And I'm going to actually just kind of clip that together before I start so that I kind of stay in line. Okay, so see now you see, you're like, oh, well, it's, it's because of the way it's sitting. Now you can see that it actually really does sit like it's supposed to. Okay, now I'll get you in closer and we're, we'll put this together. I don't do anything special as far, I'm just very simple with the way I put things together. If you have a, a certain way you would like to put it together, say you want to do a three needle bind off or something else, you're going to have to look that up. I do not have a tutorial for other ways of joining. This is just the way I do it. <laughs> I just sort of pinch it together like this. And I call this whip stitching. And I'm thinking of how much use it's going to have when I do this, being that this is the back of the neck and where a lot of weight hangs from this, I'm not going into coordinating stitches on either side. I'm thinking about the fact that it needs more stitches than that. So I'm not, I'm just sort of ignoring and making it in blocks across so that I get more stitches being pushed together than if I were to do just like this one and that one and this one and that one. I would it would be more open and I don't want that. Now I don't always do that. It's just that with this one I want more stability on this neck. Come up here a little bit. I know that there's a little bit of a glare showing in my camera. Let me pull something over here. That's a little bit better. That's a pocket. But I do go from side to side. I don't go over the top. Whip stitching, you really go over the top with it. But I don't do that. I go from side to side and not across the top. It's not going to hurt anything if you go over the top. You're just going to have more of a little bit more of a bulk, like along your seam if you do. And the needle I'm using to sew it together is one of these open plastic with a very pointy end. And I like using these because I can get right into the middle of a, of a 
piece and I don't have to go like directly through the stitch. I can go right through the middle of the stitch. Okay, I'm going to continue across and I will be back to show you how to put your pockets and your sleeves on. Okay, now the collar has been joined at the neck here. Let me turn it. Now this is the other, this is the right side out. You can see our seam there. This is the seam for the, the center. This goes all the way across the shoulders. Now, I am going to bring you back out and show you what we're going to do with the sleeve. Now we have the wrong side out, right sides facing each other, so it's folded inward on itself. This is where our armhole is. And what you're going to do, you're going to take the sleeve that you made and you see that the sleeve is long on one end and short on the other. Okay, this short end is your cuff. Show you. Let me bring that out a little bit. So this is your cuff right here and this goes this edge right here is the one we're going to sew to the armhole and what you're going to do is you're going to mark fold it in half and you're gonna right here you're gonna put a marker you can use a piece of yarn if that's all you got I grabbed both the stitches and now that I'm going to attach to my armhole. Here's my armhole. I want to make sure that I have, sorry about my hair there. Uh, I want to make sure that I am evenly, got this done evenly. So here is where my seam on the top is right here. So I'm going to attach the, so it's going to go this way. I'm going to attach this right here. And we are going to sew it along this edge. Now you're going to take this and you're going to sew this all the way along this edge like that. And don't worry about the corner, just sew it as you go along. You want this edge here and your mark here to line up. And then you're going to go over to the other side and you're going to sew that one. So what you can do is you can put a marker here on these, holding these two together. On this edge. And then do the same over here. Get the corner here. And put it on that edge. Now you can see that is going to be sewn all the way around. Once you get that done, then we're going to come back and I'll show you. Because all you'll do is you will sew up here and up the arm. So we'll come back after we do this 
attach the sleeve and I'll show you how we do that part. Now you can see where I attached the sleeve all the way along that edge. Now you're going to fold that in half. So see that's your that's going to be your arm will go through right here. This will be the cuff. This is a three quarter length. And we're still working with it inside out. So you're going to match everything up. Here is our seam here and our seam here. And so what I do is I match those two up and I pin that right there. See, there's your sleeve edge. And then this is your inside seam under the arm. And I will pin it together here at this corner. And then this is a little bit of a longer stretch right here so I will go come in and do one right in the center just so I don't get too far off okay so this is what you're gonna do you're gonna sew all the way up and under the arm and to the edge of the cuff. Okay, I have finished sewing down this side. Now let me turn it inside out, or right side out. There is my underside, there is my, my seam. And it looks pretty good going down between here. I think it looks pretty good. Okay, now I don't have the other side done yet, but I want to flip it around to the right side and show you how to do the pocket. Basically, you guys, you could put the pocket anywhere you want. You could try it on and put your hand down and see where you want it. But I put mine somewhere in the neighborhood of six inches up. I believe it's about six inches. Yes. No, that's not right. <laughs> this is like the middle of it right here. And it's going to fit depending on the size of your sweater. Okay, it, that, that's, that's what's going to be different. Depending on the size of your sweater. But in general, it's going to be three inches from the bottom. three inches from the bottom of the sweater, okay? And you want it to be towards the towards the center and not towards the outside. Because naturally when we put our arms in, we we put our arms in towards the center. And so that gives you a um and mine when I put mine on, I put it right down the center of between these two lines here on the front. So this is our lapel border 
and then there's a line right next to it and I center mine right there in between there and then it's three inches up on the bottom and then I just attach it in the corners especially because down here on the bottom you don't want this bottom to get moved around and then you're having to make up the difference somehow and you can check to see where you're at and make sure you are the same yep and then you just sew it on and whatever your method is is what you use I don't like to have a ridge per se whenever I sew mine on so when I'm sewing it I'm going to come from underneath here and grab and underneath here and grab so that kind of lays on the top and that is how you put it all together now if you're unsure you're asking yourself okay how do I not know about this sweater this is the floozy sweater Mal and this I'm again I will leave a link down below to the playlist and in the playlist there is the description for how to make the sweater in underneath in the description box of the videos and then I'm showing it to you while we are talking on my live so if I get a chance when I get this all done, I will come back and show you what it looks like. Have fun today. Okay, I still have to finish putting the other part of this together. But here is how the first sleeve looks. And you can tell that here's where your pocket's going to it's gonna go right here. This just gives you an idea. See, it's very oversized. lots of room in this very soft and squishy it's awesome and you could make this out of so many different things if you do let me know hashtag fiber floozy crafts okay y'all i love y'all have fun today see you later can't wait to see your sweaters